it's times like these where I don't know why, but I always come back to Pokemon. No, no, not Christmas. Christmas is past. By times like these, I mean times where it gets really dark and gross out and it's cold. In Massachusetts, basically, I mean from the end of September to like the beginning of April, some years, sometimes May. In recent times, Nintendo has been rightfully criticized for their less than fan friendly practices surrounding the canceling of fan tournaments for their popular game, Super Smash Bros. This isn't the company's first brush with controversy, far from it. And even just last year, the topic of this video, Pokemon, was embroiled in its own backlash known as Dexit revolved around the decision to not allow every single Pokemon that's ever existed into Sword and Shield. But despite their missteps, the Kyoto-based company has managed to create a generation of devoted and some would say sycophantic followers. I count myself among them, specifically when it comes to Pokemon. So much so that in preparation for Pokemon's 25th anniversary in February, I felt compelled to try and articulate why a 27 year old guy is still excited by a franchise that many have said hasn't innovated as much as others. When I was young, my parents weren't into video games. My first console was the Sega created educational gaming system, the Pico or Pico, I don't know. Do you remember? Pico. It turns TV into your kid's first computer and turns on the power of their imaginations. With storybook software, turn the page and images come alive on TV. Kids learn numbers, music, reading, and more. Do you remember this thing? Of course you don't. Only like 400,000 units were sold in the United States, and compared to the NES and PlayStation, it was hot garbage. But I will say I have a lot of fond memories playing the Lion King on it. That game slapped. It wasn't until I was around nine and I got the Game Boy Color. And of course with it, I got Animorphs. Yeah, the game based on the TV show, based on the children's book series. It was really terrible, but I didn't know better. My only frame of reference was the Pico. Eventually my friend Ryan introduced me to Pokemon Silver version. And soon after I got my own Pokemon game and Crystal version. I was a huge fan of the anime, like many of my peers were. But somehow, I didn't even know it was something based on a game franchise. Probably because I was dumb and too busy playing Animorphs. Playing Crystal Version was an absolute game changer. No longer was I resigned to watching Ash Ketchum stumble his way to becoming the very best like no one ever was. Now, I was going on my own journey to become the very best like no one ever was. And unlike Ash, I was gonna do it. If you're watching this video, you're most likely a fan of the series, but if you're not, a fan of Pokemon, it's difficult to describe the feeling of picking your first starter, earning your first gym badge, learning about type advantages, traveling around Johto, catching your first legendary with a master ball, mine was uh, Reiku, who I had to chase all over the map, becoming the champion after beating the Elite Four after I had failed like 20 times before because I was an idiot and a nine year old who over leveled his starter and once Fraligator was knocked out, I was in big trouble. Then finding out after you beat the Elite Four, you become the champion of Johto, you can go back to Kanto, the region where most of the anime took place. You could get 16 gym badges, fuck. This game was amazing. I, I actually have goosebumps right now talking about it. And I think playing these games when you're young, having these memories become core memories for you, that's what keeps the fans coming back for more. It would allow Nintendo to add new fans with each new release. It's true that the games are formulaic and outside of Summon Moon, they ask you to obtain eight gym badges while fighting off in team with ill intent, eventually resulting in you becoming champion. And yeah, they're, they're not difficult. If you know what you're doing, you're gonna breeze through it. And while there is a deep meta surrounding the competitive fighting aspect of the game, most players will never devote the time to learn it. And that's okay. Pokemon's much more of a journey than a destination. Each region provides its own sense of adventure with new Pokemon to catch and new things to see and places to explore, while still existing within a familiar framework. And I understand why some people would get bored of that. There have been times when even I have taken a step back from the franchise. However, I never abandoned it entirely. Not every video game you play has to be a sprawling epic with hundreds of hours of content, nor do you have to be ultra polished single player experiences with deep stories that make you consider heavy themes. 
In brainstorming this video, I kept coming back to the idea that, to me, Pokemon is like comfort food. When the world is in a crazy state, it's nice to have something simple and fun to come back to. And that's probably why when the weather gets crappy and the days get shorter, I'm often replaying the old games. Each time I hear a familiar song or battle an adversary I've bodied hundreds of times before, I feel a wave of nostalgia. And what can I say, it just makes me happy. At the end of the day, Pokemon is just fun and playing it makes you feel good. I think of the big three game publishers, Nintendo gets that more than anyone else. That's why as gamers, we often turn a blind eye to their less than savory practices because for all their faults, they know what keeps us coming back for more. So yeah, this is kind of a rambly, weird video. Not too many jokes, just kind of speaking from the heart, you know, speaking from the nerdy heart. And I hope that it resonated with some of you. And if you did like it, maybe subscribe. Check out our last video where we talked about a legendary sea serpent. You're not gonna wanna miss it, very good video. And check out all of our other videos on the channel. Make sure you follow us on Twitch, twitch.tv slash wickedgoodeverything. We'll be streaming on the channel and on that channel. Some Pokemon coming up very soon. And I guess that's all I had to say. Gaming is awesome and I hope you guys all have an equivalent to Pokemon that you go back to and replay often. We'll see you guys in the next one.